Hello darlings, I am Cassandra. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for coming. For those of you who are new to my channel, child, let me introduce you to the Jungle Beauty Goddesses, the life-size fabric sculpture dolls you see sitting behind me. I created these dolls myself, and as I was sewing them, they would not stop talking to me, and this led to my Jungle Beauty Goddess book series. And so far, I have book one, two, and three. The Jungle Beauty Goddesses is a juicy, sensuous, provocative love story about human evolution, darling. But that is not what I'm here to talk about today. No, you know we're gonna talk about. Oh my God, I made these um, Capricorn earrings, zodiac sign earrings. You see. For my, well, actually, I made them for my doll. We're kind of fighting because she says her name is Caprice. I don't like the name Caprice at all, so I'm not sure if that's going to be her name. We're going to have to come to some type of agreement because Caprice means whimsical, and uh, I'm not into it. But anyway, these are her earrings. And what I did is I'm going to show you how to make these earrings using hot glue doll. And yes, I hope I can get it in focus hot glue okay including the symbol this is the symbol for capricorn and this is the constellation for capricorn i didn't really want the symbol in mine you uh, know i just said eh, um, i made it but i was like yeah i just rather have just a constellation but i'm going to show you how to make these beautiful beautiful oh my god constel capricorn constellation earrings Aren't these just like super adorable? They like so cute. Oh my god. I really hope you enjoy this tutorial. It is super easy. Oh, more thing. Inside of the earrings, I have gemstones and herbs and oils, darling. These are like magical charm zodiac sign earrings. Yes. Oh my god. I am so pumped. I hope you enjoy this video. Don't forget to like it, give it a thumbs up. I'm, I'm, so, I'm so sorry. Let's get to the video. Thank you so much for watching. Say bye bye. Uh, you're, not, you're not gonna talk? This is a, it's a Capricorn nature, darling. Hello, darlings. It is official. Her name is Nashira, spelled N A S H I R A. Um, I think this is a perfect name for her. So we're going to go ahead and get started with the DIY on how to make these Capricorn hot glue earrings. Well, make Capricorn earrings using hot glue. All you're going to need is a hot glue gun. If you're going to make small earrings, you can use a small, um, a small gun. But if you're going to make a big size or just even an average size, I suggest that you use a large hot glue gun. That was a mistake that I made because you're going to use a lot of glue and you're going to need parchment paper and to draw the constellation of Capricorn onto your parchment paper. So what I did is I downloaded a picture of the Capricorn constellation and I put my parchment paper over it so that you know it's like back in you know first grade <laughs> we used to copy stuff and you just place the parchment paper over it use a number two pencil I don't know if it has to be a number two but at least a lead pencil because it, um, hot glue lifts the pencil and you will see the print and it will guide you when you're cutting out your earrings and you know it'll look very smooth so here I am tracing the image of the Capricorn, I think they call it Capricornus um, constellation. And now I am using my hot glue gun to trace within the lines. Even if you were to go over the lines, like I said, you're gonna, you can cut it out. But the neater you are, the less work you will have to do later. So the best way I can explain to make a smooth earring is to use the hot glue gun 
as if it is a crayon. Remember when you used to color and you would go in these little smooth circles to have this really pretty image when you were like, I don't know, when you used to color in coloring books? So you are literally coloring the image with the hot glue gun, if that makes sense. And you're going to give it um, a moment to cool. It cools really fast, especially for small earrings. And um, and don't forget to, you know what, I forgot to draw the, the top part. Like you want to put like a nice little circle at the top. Yes, I think I did it here. Because that is where you're going to put the fish hook to be able to put it inside of the earring. Now here is a symbol of the Capricorn symbol. I um, <laughs> I selected this one because it looked the easiest to draw, child. Um, yeah, so I'm what it's, it's the same concept, but this one because the doll's earrings are small and the image I'm creating is small, I really needed to make a lot of them, and you know um, because of the um, hot glue gun, how fast and hot the glue is coming out can determine how well you're able to concentrate and get a nice figure you know so I um, copy the Im the symbol for Capricorn I drew it like at least I don't know 10 20 times and I you know with the uh, hot glue gun and, and then I painted it do you hear the thunder But anyway, it's thundering, but I don't want to not make the video because it's thundering. Oh, I'm sorry. So here, the earring has cooled off. Can you see the constellation? Isn't that gorgeous? Okay, yes. And I'm just cutting, and you see how the, um, the hot glue lifted the lead off the parchment paper, and you can use it as a guide to cut out your earrings. Now, if you use small, like depending on the size of your earrings, you know, but if they're small, small scissors, you will be able to do a much neater job. Look, see, isn't that gorgeous? Oh my God, I love it so much. I get so excited. So I'm cutting out the other image, just cleaning it up. And then I am going to paint the earrings um, with nail polish. I have found, in my experience, I do see other people paint with acrylic paint on hot glue. I don't know what type of acrylic paint they're using, but acrylic paint just doesn't work as well to me. But the secret that I found, if you want to use acrylic paint on hot glue, mix it with a little clear glue. I have found that if I mix my acrylic paint with a little clear glue, it will stick to my... Um, hot glue, you know, uh, jewelry or whatever I'm making really, really well. I forgot about that trick, you know? Darn it. Because I haven't done this in a while. But anyway, I'm using my nail polish to paint because the nail polish sticks on extremely well onto my hot glue. And so for the symbol for Capricorn, I am using the black nail polish. And I'm just going to go over it a couple of times and set it aside to give it an opportunity to, to try before I start painting the constellation. So what I'm doing is actually taking the Capri um I'm going to glue the Capricorn symbol onto the Capricornus constellation. So it's like getting that double whammy of Capricorn energy. I knew in advance what color her dress was going to be in my head. Okay, I didn't know how I was going to make it. I just had just a, a basic image of what colors I wanted for her. So the colors for Capricorn are brown and green, gray, some people say purple, but I remember I've noticed that the, the books on Capricorns have changed over, over the years and I know that um, they say any deep dark colors like are Capricornian colors but definitely earth tone so it's, it's like a if you're going to use a red it would be a deep burgundy red or it would be a forest green think of the forest think of the fall think of the leaves um, the, the dark colors though not the spring colors but definitely the dark the, um, the, the shades of green the shades of brown or the grays 
those are like the earth tones so I knew that I wanted her dress to be like a green now what else <laughs> didn't have a lot you know when I was painting her earrings um, and the Shearer's earrings I really didn't know you know how like I mean when I say how I how I was gonna make it what fabric I was going to use I just kind of feel like um, you know what I love about let me see let me figure out how I want to say this what I love about crafting and art is that I really don't know what's gonna happen like this is the color that I decided to use isn't that pretty it's like a, t a deep chillish um, green but I didn't know like I didn't have I know some people probably have everything lined up how they're gonna make it they have a pattern I'm not like that I'm very willy-nilly so I just and that I, I just decided that I would um you know just I get a vision and I go with the vision and I let everything come together because um yeah I don't know I, I like it and I think I've said this before when I walk in the store and a cashier will ask me like can I help you and I'm looking for something and I have no idea where it is I always say no see this is the Capricorn symbol here isn't that gorgeous I mean I'm trying to get it in focus but that's the symbol and it's really nice oh my god it's so cute so and I'm gonna place that on to the constellation but basically I always say no even when I don't know unless I'm like in a big hurry which is rare and the reason is because I find so many things that I would have never found looking for what I was you know looking for what I'm looking for but because I was just browsing the aisles you know getting new ideas being exposed to new products I find that I've I've got my best ideas so guys this is just a picture here you see how it's all coming together isn't it cute we have our corner capricornas with the capricorn symbol and then i'm going to use some confetti stars to place around the constellation you know following the pattern on the printed out image so um <laughs> just to get back to my little story but basically um when i'm browsing the aisles i find things that i never knew existed you know what i'm saying like how can you discover something and if you've never been exposed to it and sometimes people don't tell you and because they don't know either so when i go into it's when I, well, since this whole incident was happening in the world right now but in the past i would go to joann's or michael's or um with Hobby Lobby and I would have one item in mind that I'm looking for but I would walk every aisle looking for anything like new colors reading the backs of products that I've never seen before wondering like what do people do with this um, and that's how I have found some of the most wonderful products I've ever used and gotten some of the greatest ideas I've ever had so I, I to me personally I think it's good not to always know where you're going. I mean, like, to know what you want, but to be open to new experiences and new ideas on the way to where you're going. You know, does that make sense? So here we go. Oh, see, look, look, look. Oh, see, I have the confetti, and it's like using the star outline of the Capricornus that's actually in the zodiac sign. And then we have the symbol in the middle. I got, I purchased the um confetti from the dollar store and i don't i remember i still remember when i bought it and i thought i've had it for literally probably about a couple years but i just i bought it and i thought one day i'm gonna want this <laughs> i want it for something it's just here and i actually think somebody left it like at the conveyor belt or something near the cash you know the cash register and i just picked put it in my thing i said it's only a dollar and it's cute and i might need it one day see who's but anyway, um, and I opened the package for this video. <laughs> um, so I'm using these little gemstone studs that I purchased from Amazon. And they came in a pack. I think you can see it on the over the side over there. I placed them in the middle of the star to give it more depth or texture. You know, I'm a, I'm a texture girl. That's why my dolls have these, you know, protruding lips. And I like, you know... 
I know some people like to paint their faces, and I, you know, and I've made some hot glue dolls where I've tried to paint the faces. But I just like things that are bulky. You know, I like my earrings bulky. I like if I'm going to wear it, <laughs> if I'm going to do it, then I just want it to be big. You know, I don't know. That's just me. That's just me in this incarnation. So this is the earring with the stars in alignment. Oh my God, I'm so in love with the constellation, with the Cap Capricornus constellation. And I am, I purchased this velveteen, um, fabric or it's almost like the texture of felt it's very thin but it's gorgeous it's the most gorgeous red I've ever seen I swear I don't know if this video is is doing it justice but the actual color of this red is like when I saw it it was like I, I felt my root chakra just healing you know but anyway I bought it from Amazon it was about 20 I think it was 18 or 20 in a pack and it was very inexpensive maybe $10 at the most and I placed the, the Capricorn Capricornus constellation um, to the to the, the what is it the red velvet and I just cut it out to give it uh, a flash of color you know and to give it um, some strength also so now I'm using my I don't know what do you call those those hole punch it's not a hole punch but those little pliers for putting on those little studs um, rivets I think you put rivets on with it but I'm using that to place holes in the little circle at the top you see and it's really it works really well and I just touched it up again with some nail polish and um, you see I just touched up the little hole and I wanted to wear you know uh, when I'm taking the pictures, I didn't want everything. Now she's a the uh, Nashira is a very dark, dark complexioned doll, and I didn't want all the blue, the, the dark teal green colors against her, you know, face and against her body with her dress. I wanted to have flashes of color, so I'm using some uh, metal rings here, and um, they're really. I love these things. You, they, you can get them in a lot of different colors. And I opened it up. It's really easy to open, you see. And now you're just going to open it up. And you're going to slip it in the hole there. And then you are going to, yes, take the little fish hook. See? And you just slip it on and cl just close it back. Boom. You have a pair of beautiful earrings. I have uh, um, other videos where I've made, oh, so many different types of earrings using hot glue. I love it so much. I cannot tell you. I love, it's just so fun. It's easy. It's inexpensive. Um, <laughs> you know, I love it. I love it. And so anyway, I'm just going to do the, the, you know, I'm just showing you how easy it is. This is the second one. I'm just going to go ahead and just, you can do it with your fingers. And it's not, the, the metal is very, very is very um, acquiescing, subservient, darling. It just it wants to please you, and so it, you know, you just open it up and you can close it back. And it, I've not had any problems with them. So now we're just going to go ahead and put do the same thing to this earring. I am so excited. Um, I love her earrings. I feel like they really, you know, like the whole Capricorn energy. Um, is very is very strong now as we go along in the video I'm going to show you the video the earrings the Capricorn hot glue earrings that I made for myself the earrings were so strong seriously and when I say strong it was my neck started to pulsate like I was like I don't know like I just I had to take them off for a minute to let my to let my body adjust to the energy so now I'm just using some pliers here to you know just tighten it up a little bit now you might want to check and make sure that the earrings are going to be in the hanging in the position that you want so before you you know tighten it up because sometimes you can you know using this method you might want it a certain way so here are the earrings that I made for myself I made two pair for myself, one brown and one green. Look, and I'm just talking smack. This is me before 
I um, you know, get ready to record and I'm just messing around. Um, <laughs> but I love these earrings and so but yeah, they're very um very very potent in terms of the the energy. This is a Capricorn um, herb oil gemstone mix. Um, the in the prayer, I think I showed you the garden as I was talking, but this is like um, shepherd's purse, um, pansy. The pansy is actually the the flower for the Capricorn. Basil is a herb for Capricorn. Um, yarrow. Oh, yarrow. I don't have, I'm not sure how people pronounce it. It's Y A R R O W. Is another herb for Capricorn. I am actually doing a charm bag, you know, um, video for Capricorns. So I don't really want to, you know, go go through all of the herbs because I don't want my videos to be so long. Like I again, if you're a person who's not interested in a pair of, you know, Capricornus. <laughs> you know earrings or zodiac sign earrings you know you're going to be thinking like why do i have to watch this i just want to know what the herbs are i just want to know what the oils and the gemstones and the flowers are so i just really want to keep those things separate but here i put some of the garnet gemstones inside with the capricorn herbs which will be coming up in a video soon um and I placed them and I also use Capricorn oils and I think um, I can't remember what was one of the primary oils for Capricorn oh my god sandalwood I love sandalwood sandalwood is one of my all time favorite um, fragrances or oils essential oils but it's sandalwood and um, I can't think of the other ones right off the bat, but this entire mix are herbs that um, magnify the, Car the Capricorn traits. So for organization, going after your dreams, setting goals, achieving those goals, um, but it's also looking for balance because Capricorns are known to be workaholics and uh but also to be very loyal like there's you know like say that you know the worst thing you want to do is hurt a capricorn's feelings because they won't forgive you i don't and i don't know if we don't forgive because i forgive but i think we we're very loyal and when that is and when we when somebody hurt us like that we don't want to open that door up again and there may be a lot of people like that it has nothing to do with their zodiac sign so basically what i did was I placed the I think it's easier to put down the hot glue first and then put the herbs and oils into the glue um, when I was doing this it smells so good this the, the sandalwood the um, I can't think of the other oils cedar wood I believe I'm not a hundred let me not give off names you know but I just remember sound the wood because I just remember you know how everything together was smelling so so good. So anyway, I'm just um, I decided to use my large hot glue gun because the earrings are for me, and again, you know I like things that are big. So look, oh my God, isn't that gorgeous? You see the you see the garnet, the little pieces of garnet, and the all the different the oils. It has flowers, everything. To magnify the positive traits of being a Capricorn and to balance the traits that are like the negative you know such as you know like I said being a workaholic and you know being pessimistic Capricorns tend to be prone to depression so we're always have to be we have to always work look out for look out for that and keep our emotions high so I didn't want to paint them on camera because it really wasn't that exciting <laughs> but this is the um, and then I you know I kind of I wasn't, uh, it's not as smooth as I could have made it, but this is the blue um, Capricornus jewelry or hot, you know, hot glue earring. And then I did, I used the same process. I used the hole punch inside the big circle and I put the fish hook in and I made myself a beautiful pair of Capricorn earrings. I didn't want the Capricorn symbol in the center of the Capricorn constellation I wasn't you know I was a little bit look that was a little bit too much for me but I think in the future if anything I would make a big pair of the symbol just by itself you know um, and just paint it because I you know I think the symbol is pretty dope 
But anyway, I really hope you enjoyed this um, DIY on how to make these Capricorn constellation earrings. I'm using them um, as a part. Oh my God, look, see here. It's, is that pretty? <gasps> oh my God. I'm telling you. <coughs> Excuse me. They're really really um i hate to use the word magical but they really are i i'm not kidding um anyway try them out and let me know in the comment box how it worked out for you yep. thank you so much for watching and i look forward to seeing you in the next video